I'm here at the Cedar Hill Cemetery in Vicksburg, Mississippi, site of the Vicksburg uh, National uh, Battle Monument Memorial Park, uh, where the battle was fought. Um, I've been here a few times over the years, and now I'm just here for one specific grave, but as I walk to find it, it's frustrating. I think it was, I suspect it'll be in here with some of these. There it is. Right here in this little patch of uh, Confederate soldiers. We're likely all all died in June of 1863, most likely from the battles. June 9th, June 11th, June 30th, 18th. But the one I'm specifically here for is the grave marker of Douglas the Confederate Camel. The resting, the final resting place of the camel who served with the American uh, Confederate Army or served with the Confederate Army during the Civil War. Um, among 5,000 grave markers for Confederate soldiers in the soldiers' rest section of the cemetery here. This one pays tribute to Old Douglas, the camel of the 43rd Mississippi Infantry Company A, nicknamed the Camel Regiment. Uh, let's see here, a little history on that. Douglas participated in battles of Iuka. Corneth under Major General Sterling's under Major General Sterling Price and Earl Van Dorn before being shot by a Union sharpshooter on June 27th, 1863 during the Battle of Vicksburg. Douglas was well loved by the members of his regiment. On occasions, Douglas is said to have spooked at least one of the horses into stampeding to the camp near Iuka, injuring horses and soldiers. And possibly in killing some former soldiers climbing into trees to get out of the out of the destruction. Douglas, he was an independent camel and routinely broke through broke free of his tether, but never wandered too far away from his regiment. In 1863, he wandered into no man's land, uh, and uh, like I said, was shot by this this, this uh, sharpshooter. The Union Army according to legend, uh, responded uh, by eating him, since food was scarce and making war souvenirs out of its bones. The Confederates responded by making a point of severely wounding the sharpshooter who had killed their beloved camel. His gravestone, however, states that he was eaten by his own Confederate regiment, who were suffering under the siege of Vicksburg. Douglas was not the only camel to serve during the Civil War. Um, when Jefferson Davis was the U.S. Secretary of War, he implemented the camel experiment in the 1850s to see how useful camels would be in the American Southwest, where horses were beginning to have some trouble on those longer trips. Uh, camels were able to carry very large loads compared to their horse counterparts. And uh, unfortunately, it never kept on, though. Um, not sure if you know Douglas is actually buried here or not. Um, interesting question, or it was just a, a memorial to him. Um, reading this stone, Old Douglas was the faithful, patient camel of the 43rd Mississippi Infantry Volunteers, Confederate uh, States of America. Douglas was a dromedary camel and was given to Colonel W.H. Moore by Lieutenant W.H. Hardgrove of Company B. Uh, Moore assigned Douglas. And you can see some things being left for him. Pack of camels. Lots of coins here. On the back side, the band. Okay, that was a continuation of the front side. Douglas at first frightened all the 43rd's horses, but soon became a favorite of both beasts and men. The 43rd was henceforth called the Camel Regiment. Douglas served in the Iuka, Corneth Central, and Vicksburg campaigns. 
intentionally killed by a Yankee sharpshooter near the end of the siege. He may have been eaten by the starving Confederates. Douglas' death was greatly mourned as a 43rd vet wrote about him. His service merits records. And unfortunately, somebody decided to sign. And this grave's got some, I see that's some mower damage, but may have had a few things chipped off maybe by souvenir collectors. So, uh, I assume like so this is just a memorial marker, not an actual grave uh, here in uh, uh, Cedar Hill Cemetery. So there you go, the grave of Old Douglas, the Confederate camel, here in a beautiful Cedar Hill Cemetery. Very nice final resting place for uh, thousands of thousands of locals and Confederate soldiers who died during the Vicksburg campaign. All right.